Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to use a logical statement or condition in a MATLAB environment. We're going to use the if statement here, and let's go and see how to work with it with an if statement. I've already opened a MATLAB script and saved it. So let's use if to simulate a condition. First, let's define um, initialize a value for a variable a. So I'll define a variable a. So to do that, I'll initialize that before. So let's say I say a is zero. Now I'll, I'll use the if statement. As you can see, as I wrote if, it turned the color from black to blue. So it's a command. Now if, after if, uh, we have to define the condition. Let's just say we define the condition with the variable a. So if if a is less than zero, let's say if a is less than zero, we'll display some command with a disp command. So we'll print this, whatever we write in the display, this command, it will print out in the output. So let's say variable a is a negative number. Okay, so whenever the a is um, a positive number or a negative number, it it can identify that and define. So let's let's initialize a positive number here. Let's say it's ten. Now we can say in the next line we can say else. So if we do else, meaning if a is less than zero is not true, then any other condition it will go to the else command. And if else is just this thing, whatever command we write it here, it will execute if a is greater than zero, or if a is less than zero is not true. Let's say variable a is a positive number. Okay. So then what we have to do is we have to use an end. If you don't use an end, it will show an error and it will not run. So always use an end for with an if. So it's an if end statement. Okay, so if we do that, now what will happen is that we have a, a 10 for a value, so it's a positive number. So it will come here, it will check whether the a is less than zero or not, it says no. Then it goes to else command and whatever command is given here, it will execute that. So meaning it should print this line in our output. So let's run it and see what does it show. As you can see, it shows variable a is a positive number. Okay, now if I put a negative 10 here and run it, it should come here. Let's check it. a is less than zero. Yes, then it will not go to the else command. It will execute whatever is written here or a bunch of code can be written here instead of just a one code. And as it is written, variable a is a, po a negative number, it just printed that. Now, um, we can use if and else if also to include different other conditions too. Let's say, um, what happens if we have a zero? Um, so, instead of having an else here, we can say, uh, I'll just delete, um, I'll say, um, else if so else if meaning it will it will ask for a different condition else if a equal equal zero meaning if first it will check whether if a is less than zero if not it will check whether a is equal to zero if it is equal to zero then i say display variable a is zero okay and then else and it will for any other condition it will go to else and it will show a positive number so now if i have the negative number as before run it it shows a negative number but if i have a zero here it will go here to this command and should print the variable a is zero if i do that as you can see it shows variable a is zero so from this we can see Using an if and command, we can use conditions, logical conditions, and define logical conditions to execute different commands inside them. 
and also we can use else if to add other conditions and add more uh, constraints to these commands that we want to execute. So that is uh, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.